You didn't invite the Jones, did you? Of course I did, babe. I really like them. And their daughter, she's so mature. Why you ask? Never mind, just, I haven't been connecting with the family lately is all, so but maybe I'm just overthinking it. Aw, don't worry about it, babe. I'm sure it's just temporary. Try to let it go, okay? Now let's finish preparing before I guess get to it. Okay, I let it go. I just finished taking these appetizers to the table. Oh, thank you. Make sure it looks perfect. They'll be here in a few minutes. <laughs> Babe, you know I got you. Okay, guys, before we get started, I heard someone ask, what is a timeshare? So I'm going to let you know what it is. A timeshare is a method or a way to purchase the use of property in a period of time. Me and my husband do these all the time and we absolutely love it. So I'm gonna show you these little clips. You let me know if you have any questions. So we're gonna start with the first one. And then this one, this one. You're just not gonna talk to me at all tonight? Excuse me? This is my house. I don't have to do anything I don't wanna do in my house. Okay, well, you didn't seem to have an issue with that the last time I was over here and it was just the two of us. Look, Gabrielle, I'm not gonna go back and forth with you on this, especially not with our families in the next room. Well, this seems like this could be the perfect opportunity to get your attention because you've been ignoring me for months. Just because I stay where I am and you stay where you are, it doesn't mean I'm ignoring you. Don't do that. Just don't do that because every time I call or text you, you never respond. And every time I see you outside, I try to wave or speak or call out your name, you, you, you play dumb. I have no clue what you're talking about. And besides, it ain't like we hang out or anything. So what do you call sex in your shed? In your car? In your garage? Shh. In my garage? Calm your voice down. In your guest room? In my parents' bed? Doesn't that constitute for hanging out? Look, we were just two people just trying to relieve some stress. That's all. Well, I'm sorry to undo that relief for you, but we have a problem. I'm pregnant. Pregnant? We? No. Listen, my wife and I, we've been trying to have kids for five years. There's no way you could be pregnant. Clearly one of you is broken, and at least now we can see who's been the problem all these you years. You watch your mouth. That is my wife you're speaking about. Show some kind of respect. And besides, how you know I'm the father? Oh, so now respect for her is important to you. It's so funny that you just care about that all of a sudden. And, excuse me? I'm not the type of person to be sleeping around. You're getting out of line now. And besides, I don't know what you do in your free time. For all I know, you could be out there praying on married men. Now look at the one who's being disrespectful. Wow. You know what? It's crazy to me that you seem to forget that when we first started, I was a virgin. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, that's why you liked me. Because you said I was totally yours. Look, literally, this is the last conversation I expect to be having. Especially considering where we are right now. <laughs> you being pregnant? will bring down both of our households. I would bring the whole world down if it meant that our son gets to grow up with his father. Wait, you, you already know the sex? Yeah. I, I've been pregnant for some time, and I found out the sex yesterday. That's the reason why I've been trying to sit with you this entire time. Presentation. You guys enjoyed the snacks, okay? Good. Here you come. Babe! What's going on? Why are you on her like that? Yeah, Mackie. Why are you all over my daughter like that? And what's with the tears? Dad. Miss Mackie. It's really hard for us to tell you this, but 
we've been seeing each other for a while now, earlier this year, and we stopped once we came to our senses, but now... She's pregnant with my son. What? How could you do this to us? After all this time trying, and this is how you repay me? Are y'all nuts? My, my neighbor and my daughter, who has a decade on her? That is disgusting and shameful. Look, I know this is upsetting for everyone, but babe, we stopped having sex when we couldn't conceive. It made me feel inadequate and a failure most of the time. And dad, you're always so hard on me. Like, you expect me to end up on the corner if I don't do exactly what you say. And it's so suffocating and it's so depressing and you make me feel like I can never do any good. And because of our sadness, this is where we are. I never meant for none of this to happen. I swear. And we stopped a while ago, but then I found out I was pregnant and I'm keeping it. She just told me today. That's why we were hugging and crying like that. I know it's messed up, but we didn't plan this at all. But I do plan on being a father. But I do plan on being an active father into my firstborn child. I'm hurt. It pains me to my core to know that you would do me like this. And it pains me to my core to now know that after all this time, it was me who couldn't conceive. Babe, look. No. Look, you made your bed, now you lay in it. I don't want any parts of this. I can't believe this is happening. Gabriella. I am so disappointed in you. You had your whole life ahead of you and you just destroyed someone else's. I raised you better than this. Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't in my right mind, and I, I just thought that Mr. Mackey wanted to be with me. We're going home right now. Mackey, I hope you take full responsibility because my daughter will not go through this alone. I'm sorry for putting us all through this. I never meant for none of this at all. But Donna, I know you can't forgive me, but I love you, and I respect any decision you make. I don't want any parts of this. And I'll send you the divorce papers when I get back to my mother's. Baby, please. Please don't do this. Please. I told you when I married you that I won't fault you for your mistakes. But I won't stick around after you hurt me. Be blessed. the story is, be honest with your partner about your feelings. Try talking to them. If it's too hard, try couples counseling. Cheating is never the answer. Once the damage is done, it can't be undone.